Well, a project to teach people from some Cape Town townships about coding and robotics is set to kick off soon. 25 unemployed young people from Kailicha, Makassar, Blue Downs and Blackheath will be selected to be part of it. The aim is to get the youth work, study or entrepreneurship opportunities afterwards. Many sees where Computer Lab Project and Old Mutual are hosting the six-month course at Academia Primary School in Kailicha. Well, here to tell us more, we're joined by Candice Kern thomas She's a director there at Well, so Candice, good morning. morning and thanks for your time this morning. So very exciting project project this sounds like and very necessary as well. Tell us how the idea came about. Well, the Millie Computer Lab project was founded seven years ago, basically upon the realization that thousands of public schools in South Africa still have no computer infrastructure and um, they are thus unable to be taught the subjects computer applications technology and IT as part of their curriculum. Mm -hmm. The implication of this is that they matriculate with no basic computer literacy skills in this day and age, they, yet they are expected to find find employment or to cope at tertiary institutions. So Melissa's we together with its sponsors over the past few years have been able to develop fully functional computer labs in these underprivileged communities and to date across three provinces have trained over 8,500 learners mm -hmm. and given them skills in basic computer literacy. Okay. literacy. So you're wanting to do the same for these 25 young people. Have you identified who they are yet? Um, have you chosen them? So for the 25 young people, we've now taken the project a step further where it is not only the development of the computer lab infrastructure in the schools, but what we are doing, what we realized is that we already have these computer labs st strategically located in these underprivileged communities so we can open it up and train unemployed youth in these communities. So what's going to happen at I Academia Primary in Kailisha mm -hmm. is that we, we've opened up our applications. We are going to um, short list the applicants to 60 and we're then going to have an interview with the 60 um, applicants. From the 60 applicants we will shortlist 40 learners uh, or, or participants, potential participants, who will then go on a boot camp, a one day boot camp and from there we will then select our 25 participants. So it's quite a robust quite a process, recruitment yeah. process, yes, we, okay. we need the right candidates. Are these going to be youngsters who are straight out of school, are some of them in high school? What, what is your cut of age when we talk about youth? Will qualify for this. <laughs> so we're looking at youth in um, the tr traditional definition of youth. So we're looking at people between the ages of 18 and 35 years old. Mm -hmm. So anyone between those ages um, is welcome to apply. So you're going to teach them how to how to enter this world, like you say, with the fourth industrial revolution coming yes. up and all of that. How are you going to make sure that, or is it going to be your responsibility or their responsibility after this to make sure that they go forth and conquer, that they find some way to use the skill or do you help them further after that as well? Well, what we've done because the, the project was piloted um, last year mm -hmm. so there's been quite a few learnings that we've you know gotten out of it and what we realize is that in addition to giving them the technical skills to help them cope in an industrial um, fourth industrial age we also need to equip these learners mm -hmm. because they do come from these communities where they are plagued by social ills we also need to then assist them in terms of personal development so there's a very strong personal development element that continues throughout the five months uh, of the project where we are then also then able to assist them to deal with real life and how to apply this, the skills, the technical skills mm -hmm. in real life situations. In, in addition to that, at the end of the course, excuse me, we are then also going to um, provide them with work readiness training and also place them in actual jobs. So what kind of skills will they be equipped with? What, what will they be able to do when the time comes, when you know, the world goes this way? Well, as we know, you know, the world is going to a technological um, um, age and we cannot have our learners lagging behind and what we believe is that these learners already under, underprivileged will be further disadvantaged if they are mm -hmm. not equipped. So we're going to be training them as we said um, obviously basic computer literacy yeah. is a must yeah. and then we are also then further training them to be coding, uh, coders so we're training them in computer programming and we're training them in robotics as well. Okay, so they'll be able to go out and be part of almost any industry exactly. from the time. All right, so those who want to be part of this, those who want to throw their hat in, how do they, how do they get to be your stand a chance maybe? <laughs> Where do they find you? So they need to go and find us. They need to um, search for um, the Millie Caesar Computer Lab Project. There's a mm -hmm. link that they will find. Um, and it will, they just need to click on My Journey Starts Here and um, they can then apply. Okay, all of this uh, will happen from the 17th of July. That's, That's just in a couple of weeks' time. Good luck.
luck to you. Thank you so yeah, much. And I hope that the, the opportunities come uh, to these young people as well. Thanks very much for your time. Thank Candace Glenn Thomas, she's director of Melly Seas, where that is the name you have to search and then get on to the My Journey Starts Here, but when you do get on there. Well, 